Hello everyone, I am your host Trisha. You might remember me from Trisha Talk Show. And we are, yes, we are here in the studio with my girl and Danny for an exciting episode girl card yes 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 of course guys welcome back to our show my name is randani mbezi you can get me on instagram randani underscore mbezi so today's show is all about how to keep a man <laughs> and what not to do on a first date yes and big shout out to the team out there behind the crew big shout out to zaira tv big shout out to jamal big shout out to figa big, big shout, shout out to watching <laughs> and big shout out to my girl right here yes thank you so much okay as she said today's episode we have two topics how yes. to keep a man and what not to do on a first date okay yes so what do you think can keep a man Hmm. Hey, this one is for you ladies at home. Uh -huh. Like, how do you think you can keep a man? Because mm -hmm. these days, we are living in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. Girls, boys, it's not the same anymore. And maybe you just want to stick to one person, but mm -hmm. they just keep cheating. So yeah. how do you keep a man? Never what do know. you say? You never know. You guys at home, you can join us on the topic. And we, we are allowed to have guests. You can join us for next time for the next show as our guest. And you, we can talk about whatever you want whatever is on the table so. yes yes she is right if you want to come to our show as our guest you can dm us, us on our um, instagram accounts like she mm -hmm. said when danny bezzi and underscore bezzi and trisha type of the jam yes. Look, okay if you do that then the game starts okay game starts. let's begin Let how go. to keep a man <laughs> okay you know girl is how i see it mm. keeping a man is not that difficult but then we just choose to ignore it is it? Yeah. I think it's difficult. I think it's difficult because men really don't know what they want. So we spend most of our time working so hard trying to impress these men, but we really, really lost because we don't know what they really want. That's where do we come. Know? That's where we come in with the girl cord. How do we keep a man? Yes, of exactly. Course. So first thing, how to keep a man be his best friend. When I say be his best friend, I'm sure you know that what that means, right? Yes. You must be be close to your man. Mm. Talk communication is the best in a relationship. Mm. You can never miss anything. And then you know how where where your man stays, how your man does like in his daily life every day. You just have to know that my man doesn't cheat. And it also comes in a way for you to trust your man hundred percent. Mm. What do you think? And I think you're absolutely right. And then checking on your on your on your guys' relationship also, checking mm. on your man also, it's very important because nowadays we have men who actually get depressed and then they end up committing suicide because they mm. love her because they think sometimes the men think that their women don't love them. Have you noticed? Mm. They be like, no, I cheat because she cheats. Yeah, but I've, I've, I've also realized for someone to think their partner is cheating, mm. maybe they might be doing the same thing. Because mm. you can't just yeah. assume that I'm cheating when I'm not. Mm. Yeah. And it gets difficult when both of them are cheating. <laughs> That's what, what you call that relationship. Hey, Have you guys relationships? Been no, no, <laughs> oh my god, what is it? Oh man, that's a good word. Yes, yes. Relationship. But, but, I wouldn't want to be in that. Mm. But trust me, she knows I'm so good at keeping men. Yeah, I know. So, mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, do you have a boyfriend right now? I do. I do, yeah. Okay, how, how, tell us how's the relationship going. Tell them how. Like exactly what I'm telling you. How to keep a man you first. Cook for him. I do cook. If um, I go to his house, yes, I do cook. Mm. But mostly being his best friend being close to him is one first thing that i'll i'll, I'll share with you guys how to keep mm. a man and the second thing namatira <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to say you must stick to him like super glue oh my <laughs> god do you think it's i i, I don't i, I don't i don't like, I don't agree i don't agree with you okay. as honest i don't i don't think you should do that to your man don't stick to like him, like, like glue. glue give him uh. space because also me as a girl i want space so be I'll, there but don't be there too much exactly okay. give them space when they're going out as guys is doing whatever they want give him space if he's saying he's going to those uh when they're meeting like what they call it for high schools uh, uh, you know those kind of parties yeah if it doesn't i invite you please not mm, it, no it's not like you don't you don't important but you know most of the people that I'm going to school with, and if they invite me, like, you know, those school <laughs> parties, like, just to keep the memories alive. Yeah. If I take my boyfriend there, maybe I used to have a, a boyfriend in high school. He's there as an ex, but it's not like we, I'm going to see the guy. Mm. But just the vibe. 
Just when, the vibe. I have to, I want to go, honestly, I want to go myself. Mm. Myself. This is like the high school stuff, they'll start talking, talking about how I used to do it at school and stuff, like the embarrassing mm. stuff. So I wouldn't <laughs> want that. Yeah. Okay, guys, take tips, take out your pen and your paper, and we're going to teach you, we're going to be telling you how to keep your man. You know, Trisha says, Peg Ale, cook for him, take care of him, treat him like a child, on him, treat him like a king, mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. he is, right? Mm -hmm. And what if he's not a king? Can you, can you still treat him like a king? Just don't give him a reason to chat. Okay, all right. <laughs> That's a nice one. All okay, right. so going to number point number three, you must not bring up his past. When you are not there, obviously a lot happened. Same applies with your life. You've dated a couple of people back back then before you met the person. Mm -hmm. And then when, when you are in a relationship and you guys are sharing, you know, as partner to partner, don't bring out, like when you're, maybe for, for example, you're fighting mm -hmm. for the day, on the day, and then you start bringing up, okay, you've dated this, and then you've mm -hmm. done this, you've mm -hmm. done this, I want to do this, because never do that. Yeah, and, you and never also, do that. And also, do you think it's okay that they should talk about their exes? Ah, uh, in some way it is, in some way it's not. But in, mm -hmm. again, I'm going to tell you from my experience. In my relationship, I like talking about it. Because mm -hmm. I want my partner to be aware of what the do's and the don'ts. Yeah. I'm going to tell him how I broke up with this, with this four guys, guys for these reasons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. For example, girls, never date a man who can lay a hand on you. Yeah, I, I, I get it, they call it love. <laughs> and you even notice, like, most of the time, most of the girls... Most of the girls that are in relationship these days, mm. they get beaten. I don't know, I don't know how many times now. They still go they still go back there. What's 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 really the problem? I think it's because they, they, they're so much attached to the person and they're in love and it's hard to get out because now you feel like this is love. This is real love. He loves me. That's I why think, he smacks I don't me. think it's right love. girls? Yeah, a lot of Rudo Rudo Harurobe, guys. In Zimbabwe, that's what we say Rudo Harurobe. Love. What do you call it? Rufuno, Kakarufuno, Auna, Udiana, Auna, Zanda, Ezinoni. These hands, they're not meant to beat a woman. These hands, they're not meant to beat a man. Especially the one you love. Yes, these hands, they're meant to to do creative things, to do beautiful things, to make things, not to beat people. So, yeah. Should we go on the next topic? Yes. Oh, ah, okay. We're going to go to the next topic after the break. Stay tuned, guys. Votre humble serviteur, l'homme de nos stress, l'homme de nos stress, nos stress magazine, et nous avons été informés de la bande de Koutou, la bande de Koutou, la télévision, la télévision, la fidèle téléspectateur, la télévision, vous pensez que nous avons été mis en train de faire la bande de Koutou, et nous avons été mis en train de faire la bande de Koutou, et nous avons été mis en train de faire la bande de Koutou, et nous avons été mis en train de il faut moderniser l'équipement de Bino, il faut moderniser la régie de Bino, il faut moderniser le studio de Bino. Pour contacter les gens de la télévision, il faut offrir Bino des matériaux sur les médias. Il faut avoir une caméra qui a une carte mémoire, si vous voulez, dans la storage de la box. Welcome, welcome back, guys, on our Girl Code show. Yes, yes, right now we were talking about on how to keep a man. Yes, and it is my favorite topic, yes. honestly speaking, because I definitely know how to keep a man. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then the next topic is what not to do on a first date. Hmm. Hmm. Can I kiss a guy on the first date? I, I think you can, but can you... Fuck him on the first date? Mm, <laughs> I think that's really too much. Fucking a guy on the first date. People I mean, do that. And, and, and nowadays okay, it's normal. Okay, let's not go for people do that. Do you do that? I don't... You, it looking depends. at me right now, I do you do depends. that? I think it depends. If I like the guy and I'm really interested in him, in him and I see that both of us, we like each other, you never know. But I think most of the most of the situations like this, it's like when, you lo when you're crushing on a guy for a long time and then, and then finally the guy asks you out and then you're like, I can't wait to get in the pants. Hey, mm -mm. I'm a really type of girl, so for me, it's a no. By kissing, mm. Uh, mm -hmm. You like the kissing. Yes. Okay, okay right. so can a girl pay the bill on a first date? I, I think no. A girl, ah, that's the man's job. 
So <laughs> not the time. I, I know it's a man, it's a man's job, but uh, uh, on a first my, date. On a first date. For me, for me personally, on a first date, he must pay. Yo, yeah. Unlike and me, then, I'm just I'm just someone who is like you know you know those type of independent people. Like I know when I'm going there, mm. it the meal that I'm gonna eat. Like for example, I go to Spain. I know he's, wherever he's taking me. I just know I'm gonna mm. eat for this three hundred trans. Yeah, maybe I, going, I, I like, understand. What so you just mean. to keep the money in the bank, for example. Because I think if he's the one that asked me out on the date, he should be the one to pay. Because then, if I'm the one that asks him out on the date, then I will gladly pay. Because I'm the one that say, hey, nigga, what's up? Let's go on a oh date. Oh, my God. This is not on the topic. Can you ask a guy on a date? Of course. I can't. You can't. I've never done it's that. Simple. No, I haven't, oh. really. Okay. Girls, don't be scared to shoot your okay, shots. Okay, 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 okay. Can you just tell, tell, me, tell, me, tell me how you did it? Just tell me on one person, the one that you enjoyed, the one that you asked, asked out. Please tell me how about it. Okay, it was simple. Well, it was over the phone. So mm-hmm. I was like, hey, how are you? Mm-hmm. He's like, I'm good. I'm like, I'm good Okay, too. who started talking to who? Me. <laughs> so you, you already had this guy's number mm-hmm. or no 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 i had to ask his number from a friend and then they sabotage yeah and i'm what like you know what i think i think uh i was like i really like you i think you and i we should go out if mm-hmm. you're cool with it you know if you don't mind and i asked him do you like me too and he's like all of a sudden he, he liked me too no who can say no it's like Oh, girlfriend, come on, look at you. Who can say no to this? No, but guys do say no, shit. No, then if, if a guy, say any no. guy say no to you? Hi, wait. Okay. <laughs> Whether she answers or not, but if you're watching at home and you've said no to her, uh uh-uh, uh, sit down and think, rethink. Okay. Look at her, rethink. <laughs> can you fart on your first date? Is it okay? Guys, it, it happens sometimes you eat too much and you get bloated and then you release boo, out of by mistake. It's okay, right? <laughs> On the first day? Okay, I, I, I didn't get the question. I didn't get it. Is it okay mm-hmm. to release the farting, fartishy? No, farting is normal, but the first date, <laughs> can, can I tell you a secret? Me and my boyfriend's has been uh, long now, mm. but I haven't farted in, in his presence. Yeah, me too. So, uh, I think it's really disgusting. You but he makes, don't he makes, do that. but he makes me feel comfortable like, to do that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Even, even if, for me, even if he says, "Babe, it's okay. You can fart as much as you oh want." Oh my god! I you know, last time, I, you know, when I was like on the first days when I when I when I moved in with my boyfriend, uh. I would take a tissue when I went to the toilet. I take a tissue or hide it in my gown, and then I eat it like you know, I'm just around with my phone. And then I go to the bathroom. Mm. Damn, girl. It's it's normal. Even till now, I can't fart. Like I don't know. Can you? Do, Crazy! I either go, go to the bathroom or go outside. Oh, I know. What if there's only those? Now. What if there is those inside bathrooms when you go there and then you shit there and then oh, that's oh, I that, that is the worst. That is okay. the worst. So I rather I rather hold it in when I'm leaving the house going to my mm. boyfriend. I make sure I, I don't need to go to the toilet. Yeah, I don't need to. So I think you just train yourself. All right. So oh, another thing. Yeah. Can you get touchy touchy on the first date? Depends what you're drinking. <laughs> I wouldn't drink. Or what you're smoking. I wouldn't drink milkshake on a first date. I wouldn't drink wine on that I can afford date. in a first date. If it's the one paying, like you said, yeah. Oh, you, I'll go for margarita. Margarita. Mm. With well, maybe with extra shots. Yeah. So obviously we're gonna end up touchy touchy. Yeah, it's allowed. And it's okay. So girls, it is okay to get touchy touchy. I'm sure most if, girls have done this. Yes. Mm-hmm. If if you like him and he likes you back, mm-hmm. go with the flow. Yes. Go but with if the flow. it's always it's always right to say no. If you're not comfortable with anything mm-hmm. he's doing, you're allowed to say no. Don't let nobody tell you uh, what, 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 exactly. what, 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 let me touch you. And then you start <laughs> fucking on the first, uh, uh, guys, if you're not comfortable with it, you don't have to do it. <laughs> Well, what it, else can you not do on a first date? Oh, uh, I'm digging you. What if he ask you if you smoke? You know, you know, you know, yeah, you know, you know, in, in Zimbabwe, I'm... like in Zimbabwe, mm. going on a first date with a guy, mm. you have to behave. No. First, your dressing, how mm. you eat, mm. like you have to behave. Even mm. the conversation you guys talk about, you have to mm. behave. Be to, I don't know, I don't know these days, but mm. mostly they just judge you because mm. even not only in Zimbabwe. People judge the girls or even the men yeah. on the first date. Yeah. But sometimes maybe 
I'm just having a bad day. Even yeah. though I'm with you, I'm just having a bad day. Yeah. I have a lot going on at home, and I think I can't be sharing I think, on the first I think day. dates. People should take dates seriously when you go out on a date. I think you should look nice. Don't go there like looking like your problems and stress and what what. But don't you're when you're going with me on a date. Don't take me to McDonald's or KFC. Don't you do that. <laughs> Or even spare. Because if I can afford to spare, I can afford to pay spare on my own. Who yeah. can make me that? Mm. Let's talk about Onyx Hotel. Yes. Let's talk about Protea Hotel. Yes. Maybe what And girls, don't let people tell you no. You can't wear heels on a date. You must Ooh. wear sneakers and be cool. Bruh, if it's your first date, you can wear whatever you want. And first impression counts. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, first impression. Very important. Yes. So what else can a girl not do? Is it a girl or a boy? A girl. A girl. girl okay. Thing. This a is girl a girl vibe. Okay, guys. Not forgetting this is a girl code. Yes. Don't forget to like our sh- um like our channel, share. Comments. And this is our first episode. Please, would really like to hear from you. Please, really would do write think? the comments and DM us. We're really waiting for your messages. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. What else? What else do you have in mind? What Ooh. else? Uh, what did I want to ask? Okay, while she's thinking what she's gonna ask, I'm gonna just share a little experience that I've heard uh, on my side. Uh-huh. I don't know if I still remember. On the, it. On the, on the oh my god, just made me forget. Um, oh. Yes, uh, this is very important. Okay. I wanted to ask mm-hmm. this is for the guys. Okay. Guys, why don't you guys take hints when you're asking a girl out and she gives you those vibes about I get her out because she's not there, she doesn't want. Why don't okay. you guys follow the hints? You see, guys nowadays, mm. they ask you, hey, pss, pss, pss. and when you turn around, you give them the look, they still don't get it. They still follow you. Hi, how are you? Can I have your number? Even though you tell, no, I have a boyfriend, you still continue. Tell, tell us, why, why do you guys do that? Why do you think they do that? Yo, you know, and they never take the hints. It's, and I hate it, I hate it. I'm sure some girls hate it also. Besides, it's also one thing I, I don't like. It. I hate it. Fair, no, I, it's not like I'm d- d- degrading someone when mm. you come to me. Yes. Oh, you like, obviously, you coming to, to me, nice. you like Obviously, you coming to me, you like me. But I've noticed, even if you pass by the guys, they call you, you know, they start yeah. calling you names. <laughs> They start calling you names like, I don't know, is, is it like a habit? Is it like, I don't know, is it a boycott? Mm. Maybe. Because mm. I don't know how it really works. And then even if you stop, they'll it's be like, oh, really... she's cheap. She can just stop, like, mm. eyeball. It's really annoying, guys. It's mm. really disgusting. It's really it's easy. It's not yeah. nice. You should get, let, okay, listen, guys, the hints. If a girl tells you she has a boyfriend and she doesn't want to talk to you, that's a hint number one. Yes. Forget about it. You're not going to get anything. She says she, had a, she has a boyfriend. Two, if you get close to her and she moves very far or she gives you those vibes, leave her alone. Mm-hmm. We girls, we like respect. We like to be respected. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And also, when you're, when you're approaching someone, mm. just look at yourself. There's a way and, then, and, then there's a look yeah. at, and also look at that person. I'm not trying to say in a, in a bad way, but when you approach me or someone else who is maybe more classy than you or maybe more better than you, I'm not saying in a bad way, but just mm-hmm. like when you when you're coming there, like especially me, I hate when people come to ask me out. I mean, slang, like you know, sl- I don't know how to say it, like in slang. I hate slang. <laughs> for me, that's one ten. That's a ten off. That's a ten. Off. If you try to speak with me, wanting me, like for in example, a, you knock your nail, you like you knock your nail, you bore, you bore, you bore. For me, it's like <laughs> you already picture me in bed. What's that exactly? And you. That's yeah. That's something. Stress, yeah. stress, stress, stress. Girls, okay. We, as girls, we don't like to be stressed. We like free, you know, normal vibes, chill vibes. <laughs> okay, okay. What else can a girl not do on a first? Can date? I be myself on the first date? Yes. But yes. you also not being yourself can also. We went to McDonald's yeah. just buy takeaways. We went to uh one of the clubs there mm-hmm. started drinking mm-hmm. do you know what i was doing when i was drinking mm-hmm. so i normally uh, those days i normally i mean I'm, I, I do strong stuff most mm-hmm. of the time so i normally had like two double shots of um jack daniels with that with no ice so you can give me jack daniels and maybe a cider on the side mm-hmm. when it goes to the toilet or maybe when you just look aside i'll pour it on the <sighs> under the tape so you didn't want to drink it no the thing mm-hmm. is it's a first date <laughs> I don't trust on the first day. Because yeah. also when he went to buy the alcohol for me and come to bring the table, I think a lot. 
Yeah. I'm that person. I want to yeah. open on my own, on your own and finish it on my own. Yes. I wouldn't want to leave my bottle yes. on the table. I then I go to the bathroom. I come back and I start thinking. You know, so, other day I was like, the bottle, right? It was like here. Yeah. So I could, I, I carried it. I was like, you were carrying it everywhere. No, oh. we're sitting on the table. I want to see if we didn't put something. And that's like, that's kind of embarrassing. I wouldn't want to do that, but. I think if you can just give me a chance to can go get the order day? for me, that would be really okay. Yeah. People can, are really dragging okay, people these days. I think it should be, can you leave your glass on a first date with a stranger? <laughs> I don't think that's safe. Just a drink stranger. your wine, drink your whatever, finish it. Because yeah, you because never know. You say, uh-uh, let me go to the bathroom. And then you come back, he's already put some mm. for you to get horny. He wants to happen to me once. I know uh, how it feels like, girls. He says, let's go out. And you yeah, ready. girls, you must be careful out there. Honestly. Be you careful must be really careful. Day, because yeah. Don't trust. Mm-hmm. Don't trust. Don't and leave your bag. Don't leave your phone. Don't. <laughs> and we're going back to our point when I said, "Can I be myself on the first date?" Mm. And so I, that that's a no-no. Yeah. Mm. I don't, I don't, yeah. You can't be yourself. You can't. You can't fully be yourself because if you get fully yourself. Mm. Then... Okay. Another Ooh. point. Can I swear on the first date? Too much. Yeah. Can I? Am I allowed to swear? Like fuck you, nigga. What you doing? It depends. I think it depends on the nigga. Is he? That type boys here. Maybe that's boy. you know church boys. They don't like all that swearing nonsense. But you get turned off. But for us to mingle, we have to have a lot of things in common. Mm. We can't have mm. two things in common, and the other eight is not like you know. Mm. We don't ha- we don't vibe. Yeah. And what do you mm. do? What do you do if as you know the whole day thing it gets boring? Me, yeah, I get bored fast. I start I start Ubering. <laughs> ask for my, you start questioning when you're mm. talking. You know, you know what I'll do? I can't even fake Ubering. I can Uber and then put my phone here. <laughs> that you can see that I'm bored. I'm requesting. Mm-hmm. You can already. Oh, it's, it's a hint for you to see that I'm bored. Mm. Is it? Or I start asking for things that I know that this guy can't can't use. Uh, oh, how much is the hookah pipe? And they'll say uh 400. And I know that 400, you can't. You can't even mm. take it out. Like, I really want a hookah pipe. Like, if someone I'm drinking, I need one. So... If you can't, then why, why, why am I here? It's like I'm, I've, I've taken myself out, so why am I here? Oh, yeah, that's like really. So no swearing on the first date, no trusting. Maybe, maybe a little. Maybe a little. Mm-hmm. If you go, if you crosses the line, mm-hmm. don't be scared to say fuck. No, okay. No, I don't want to swear here. Cause okay, fine. Moving to the, the next point. Moving to the next point. Mm-hmm. Can I take? Can you turn up late on your first date? Ish. Maybe I, to... I don't even want to comment because I don't Yeah, she, she, she mustn't because I was going <laughs> to Yeah, girl mm. I think you're... She was even late for the show, guys know... She was even late like... Exactly, she was I... even late That's why she can't comment I... But so really, for, for the sake of the viewers I'm going to allow you to comment Please do Can you turn up late on the first date? <laughs> okay, guys No You're supposed to meet at one Then you come at three Yeah, it's not fair on the other person Yeah, but because they are already there, early, ready for you, and then no, but, you just but rock sweetheart, up. sweetheart. I know on my side. I'm yeah, but going for the date, must I be like feeling guilty for someone? Oh, if you make, if you say three o'clock, you must be there three o'clock. Unless something happened, and then I can't come. What do you... <laughs> as girls, it's guys. Oh listen, God. as girls, it's always normal to be late. Shem. we're gonna be 10, 25 minutes late. Yeah. I remember my, my boyfriend when he wants to take when we say when we're going somewhere. Personal. We're supposed to go, for example, we're supposed to go at uh, we're supposed to be there around one. Yeah. He wakes up a he wakes up early. It's mm. nine exactly. I should be done <laughs> taking a bath. Because when I'm on the mirror, yeah, I can things. do the face and redo it. Uh, do the hair and, and even the outfit. Everything. Like, I don't know. Why we changed twenty. But times. us as ladies, why do pressure why do we pressure ourselves? Like you a lot. Look good. A guy ten minutes is enough. Take your shoes, take that, then you're done. Hmm? You really want to look extra more. But as for me, I it's, <laughs> it's not that bad because I like to feel confident when I'm wearing any outfit that I'm wearing. Even yeah. when I'm at home, when I'm just wearing slabs, walking, I want to feel confidence with what I'm wearing. Yeah. So please and let I, me take too much I think time. I like to be comfortable in my clothes. Mm-hmm. So girls, don't be scared to be comfortable. Even on your first date, dress something that you know you're going to be comfortable mm-hmm. in. Okay. okay, what she's trying to say is that on that point we mentioned about turning up late on the first date. She's just saying, guys, yes, ladies are only uh, are the ones allowed to, <laughs> to be late. To be late, guys, no, no. If for me, that's that, that's you are done. Late. It's a off. <laughs> Two minutes, that's done. Or maybe no. you're gonna you're gonna do everything double <laughs> on that date. 
Okay, so are we allowed to talk about your ex on the first date? First date. Mm-hmm. Maybe Bro, the guy asks you. On the first date, mm-hmm. I don't think you should talk about your. Ex but if the guy asks you, are you in a relationship? Okay, if I'm the guy. If, if I'm okay, a, I'm the guy girlfriend. Uh-huh. Let's just do this. Yeah. Oh, girl, are you in a relationship? Are you taken? No, I'm single at the moment. Oh, when, 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 when did you break up with your boyfriend? When, when was that? I think uh, three months ago. I've been single. That's why I'm here on a date with you. Are you? Are you single? Yeah, that's why I'm here. But I just want to know. You said three months ago, right? Uh-huh. But from three months ago, who who broke up? Who broke up with who? I broke up with him. <laughs> what? I broke up with him because he cheated on me. The way she's saying it was like she cheated on him. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not a cheater. I swear, he cheated on me. I wasn't enough for him. Okay, moving on to the last point. Mm-hmm. Can you constantly check on your phone, like what I'm doing here on the show? Is that allowed on the first date? Yeah. I get to you, but I don't think it's right. I love my phone. Me, I love my phone too. <laughs> I will always be checking. I need to check up on my phone. You know, it doesn't, guys, it's, uh, I don't know. I think it's right. Like, after every two minutes, <laughs> even if you put the phone on the table, after two minutes, you're like... You know what's bad? You know what's bad and rude? It's when you, you the whole time he's talking and you just... Mm, but mm. checking up on the phone mm. is different because for me, if I'm just checking on my phone, I like pictures. I can take a thousand pictures in a day. Maybe we're just on the same place. So but it'll be just picture after picture. Mm. But you need to have limits. Take one, two, three, put phone down. What are you going to be those? They're going to be like, maybe I'm uh-huh. having, come on, I'm having whiskey and then the food is there. We're done. Uh-huh. Maybe they, it's another treat now. I mean, social media is first. Yeah, so can't then. <laughs> Maybe wanna do the that whole thing. The whole date is gonna be. <laughs> anyway, okay, that's it. Was so nice showing with you guys how Ooh. to keep your man, keep your man, and, and how not, to what not, not to, to do, do on the first day. Yeah, oh, this is Randy, my girl, and I'm your host Trisha. Please don't forget to follow us. Comments. We really, we really we want the comments, comments, guys. We, need we really want to tell us comments. how we doing. It's really gonna be nice. And guys, you are allowed to join us. And be our guest, and we can talk about whatever you want to talk about, or we can come up with the topic and so so. Girl code on the couch. Uh-huh. Hmm, that one can be exciting with the girl yeah, friends. Yes. Okay, oh, not forgetting, it's not only girls that we invite on this show, also guys. Guys and the girls. Yes, 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 you guys are welcome. Okay, mm-hmm. don't be worried about whatever. We're going to talk about whatever. We can do whatever. And we can we can have drinks, right? Because I know you guys like drinking. Yeah, depending <laughs> on who's coming. Yo. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you so much for watching. It's your girl, Trisha and... Rendani on the beat. Until we meet again, it's Girl Code. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, bo. You can do the move. Mbuti, mbuti, na bandi gunu su ya Zaire Television, ou pandanya travers le monde, votre humble serviteur, l'homme de nos stress, quoi. L'homme de nos stress, nos stress magazine, et nous, etc. Tout le monde informé, la bande de coutou, hein, la bande de coutou, il y a Zaire Télévision, ou bande de Zaire Télévision, ou bande de fidèles téléspectateurs, il y a Zaire Télévision, hein, vous pensez à Pena Sango, vous commisez à Sango, et pas il y a bande de commissions sur Oulou, vous allez beaucoup y avoir l'un d'habitude. Tout le monde sait qu'il y a la bande de coutou, surtout Oulou, premièrement, parce qu'il y a une chaîne de télévision, hein, où il y a une modernité. Bah, équipement à Bino, il faut bon moderniser la régie à Bino, il faut bon moderniser le studio à Bino. Si vous contactez sur la télévision, vous pouvez offrir à Bino des matériaux qui sont les médias. Vous avez une caméra, une carte mémoire, si vous voulez, dans la storage, dans la box.